And we're going to put a little water in some storm drains tonight in a few areas. We're going to see some showers. Now it is some heavier rain back in Ohio, but by the time this sneaks over the state line, I'm expecting most of this to be pretty light. Even some lightning and thunder up around the way of Toledo. But our temperatures are going to be cooling off tonight, and we're actually going to be seeing these uh, conditions uh, stay cool all the way through the weekend as these showers are actually being driven by a cold front that's dipping down into the area. We don't have to worry about that just yet. Now we have quiet conditions. This is one view from Gateway Center, downtown basically, looking towards the North Shore out towards Heinz Field, and then looking back the other way from Heinz Field towards Gateway Center and downtown, you can see it's just a beautiful night all across Pittsburgh. Clear skies, 62 degrees, low humidity, calm winds, just perfect conditions around. Now in Pittsburgh at 62, but many spots are starting to see their temperatures slip down into the 50s. We have 55 Waynesburg, Greensburg at 57, Catanning 54, Cranberry still hanging on to 58, even as cool as 53 degrees up into Franklin. And the temperatures tonight in Pittsburgh are expected to get down to about 50 degrees, and many spots outside the city are likely going to see temperatures down into the 40s. It's going to be a chilly one tonight into early tomorrow, and tomorrow our temperatures stay well below the 79-degree average we have for this time of year. We're talking a struggle to get to 71 in Pittsburgh, 70 Connellsville, Latrobe, Indiana, Catanning, and Butler. Some spots stuck in the 60s and we're going to have some clouds early on with that front coming in and a spotty shower for the morning but those clouds are going to clear out along with the rain as we head into the afternoon so i think the day is actually going to look pretty good so in spite of the showers inching towards western pennsylvania that cold front will trigger a light rain shower or two, and those should be pretty much wrapped up by 10 o'clock. And then that front pushes to the south, and most of the moisture will hang down there. Now, we have a cutoff low that's developing, and that's going to bobble around in West Virginia and Virginia, and that could leave some showers, light ones, but some spotty showers into uh the early parts of the week, but I think most of us end up with a fairly dry setup through much of the weekend. After we get through the early shower Saturday, I don't think we have to worry about showers until late Sunday with that low spinning to our south. And you can see the spotty showers for the early part of the day give way to sunshine for the afternoon, just cooler temperatures. And it's going to be cool for both weekend days. And I think it's going to be mainly dry. There's only a few showers early Saturday, later Sunday that we need to watch for. Over the next several days, these temperatures take their time, but they do start warming back up mid 70s by Monday, back to average Tuesday. And next week, once we get towards the middle and end of it, above average temperatures back in the low to mid 80s. But most of our Rain chances are minimal and light, so it's going to be a pretty dry week. But a cool start to that week, and you can track those temperatures with the KDKA weather app anytime you want, hour by hour, daily, and a whole lot more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.